Oh my goodness, I love this bike. The very best value in e-bikes today. The EcoTrek 20-inch fat tire folding e-bike. Now, frankly, it looks pretty much like all the e-bikes you see. 20-inch fat tires, disc brakes, and it folds. But that's not why I bought it. I live in a village that's on the side of a mountain. Our roads are narrow, steep. They were built 150 years ago. And bombing down these roads is a lot of fun. It's easy. The e-bikes handle this about as well as a regular bicycle. Uh, the camera doesn't really show how steep these roads are, by the way. But basically, all you need to go downhill is a set of pretty good brakes. And surprisingly, the disc brakes that are cable operated are not uh, that much superior to the old rim brakes uh, with the rubber pads, but they work good enough for doing this kind of low speed charging. The hard thing for an e-bike really though is the uphill. Now the EcoTrick 20, if you set the pedal assist on five and pedal a little, will go up these incredibly steep hills at eight to 10 miles an hour. This is remarkable. My old moped wouldn't make it up these hills. Now the reason it does so is it's got a 500 watt motor and that's why I picked it. I also went for the 48 volt battery. Theoretically, the 48 volt system gives you greater range than the 36 volt. Now I got the sale of a century. These bikes list for over 900 and I got it for 769 online. You can get the 36 volt system for 729. Now, one of the first things that struck me was this uh, folding tube setup with these short, fat, stubby handlebars. I didn't know how that was gonna work at all, but it turned out to be fine. It actually uh, could be used as a moped if you want to cut the range down. Now, just as an aside on our roads here, this one looks relatively flat and level. But uh, if you don't pay attention, you'll find out that little rock wall uh, has a 20 foot drop up right on the other side of it. One of our neighbors from the city discovered this. Uh, you hear a lot that the fat tire bikes are smoother than a regular bicycle tire. And I guess they are to some extent. Uh, but as you can see here from the jumping around of the picture, it's by no means perfectly smooth. I found that if you pedal uh, after you're at a start and want to start up again, uh, you save a lot of electricity. Uh, this gives you greater range. Now the bike will do probably 23, 25 miles an hour on a flat uh, surface, but that really doesn't matter a whole lot in the mountains. Uh, the, the real thing is going up hills. And this bike does it pretty good. It'll jump almost immediately up to 20 miles an hour. Once you hit a section that's relatively flat, it, it's kind of surprising how, how quickly it comes up to 20. Uh, it does slow down as you hit little humps and steps in the road. Uh, but if you use the pedal assist, it seems to give it greater power. Now, I just love this bike. I am entirely pleased with it and I've uh, come to the conclusion that the EcoTrek fat tire 20 inch bike is simply the best value on the market. 